Today we're going to learn how to create a perfect loop within a TikTok video, and I don't mean the loops where they cover the lens or the camera swipes really fast and you don't see the cut. I mean a loop where I'm talking to you and it just keeps looping and looping, never ends ever. Is that even possible? I guess we'll just have to find out. I also wonder if it's possible if you could like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification to stay up to date. Maybe we could get a loop cycle of that. Let's go. Go ahead and follow me, because the way I see it, you either do or you don't. Now the option is still up to you, but let me just say this, if you want to be a part of something, go ahead and follow me, because the way I see it, you either do or you don't. Now the option is still up to you, but let me just say this, if you want to be a part of something. Now the first thing that's very important about this effect is how to film it. You can't film it from beginning to end. You can't, like if you had the words that you wanted to say or, or whatever you want to do, you can't do it from the beginning to the end. It's not going to work out. What you need to do is you need to do it from the middle to the end, to the beginning, and end at the middle. Now the option is still up to you, but let me just say this, if you want to be a part of something, go ahead and follow me. Because the way I see it, you either do or you don't. There's got to be something in there. The other thing about filming it, you can see here at the beginning, I'm paused for a couple seconds. Now the option is- Now I'm paused for a couple seconds is because you need to start your video the same way you're ending the video. So when I get to the end here and or I finish you, my line, right there. Do, do or you don't. That's my, that's my ending position. That ending position needs to be the same as my beginning position. The closer it is, the better this effect is going to be uh, pulled off. And the last important thing about the filming process of it is the part where you know it's going to loop on TikTok. You need to pause just for a, a brief second because TikTok's uh, app, no matter what you do, it's gonna have this slight little buffer between the end and it resetting the video. It's still up to you, but let me just say this. If you wanna be a part of something, go ahead and follow me. So if you're moving and it loops, it's gonna buffer and you're gonna have this little jitter and people are going to call you out for it. They're gonna say, it's not a loop, I can see the cut. And you're gonna be like, it's not a cut though, it's the buffer. So now that you know the rules of how to go about filming it, now let's show how to edit it. So what we wanna do is we wanna to go to the part where we have the end meeting the beginning and we wanna cut our clip right there. Say, say this, if you wanna be a part of something, right there looks great, Control Alt D, cut the clip, we can take the top clip, uh, and bring it all the way to the beginning right there. And we can take this part and just scooch it over here. <clears throat> and you can see now we're playing right from the beginning of the dialogue. Go ahead and follow me. Because the way I see it, you either do or you don't. And that's the end of that clip. So let's trim that part off. So now for the layer on the bottom, what we wanna do is we wanna scrub through and get to right when we actually start talking. But get right before that. So right there, looks good. Control Alt D and now drag that right to our other clip. And we can see here the differences between our two clips. So I wasn't perfect, but that's okay. I think it's close enough. So let's go ahead and do the transitional effect that's going to hide that cut. So we wanna take our top layer, cut off the last frame, take our bottom layer, cut off the first frame. Let's move those frames together. <clears throat> Select both those frames right there and then drag them to the front or the beginning of our timeline. And now we want to go and select, create a new composition right over here. And we wanna make this composition only two frames. So in the duration, just put zero, two, and that's it. Hit okay. Now let's go back to our main comp, hit control C. We're gonna copy and paste those two frames into this composition. Right mouse click on those two frames, pre-compose, hit okay. And now right mouse click again on the composition, composition settings. And we're going to set the composition to 10 frames now. And now we're going to right mouse click on our layer, go to time, click enable time remapping. And in our effects window, you can see I already have it there because I'm prepared in my tutorials. We wanna type in time warp effect. <clears throat> so with the time warp effect selected, we wanna drag it onto our layer. And what this effect does is it's going to blend those two frames together in a very smooth motion so it doesn't just look like a cut. So since our time remapping is enabled, we can take our clip and drag it all the way out the full 10 frames. And you can see here how it's a smooth transition 
between our two frames. It's not just a cut. And you can see if I go to this frame, now the image is just destroyed. Um, and that will happen. <clears throat> Obviously, we'll just cut it off before it goes there. Now, if we go to our controls panel, you can see here speed is the one of the main things I mess with. And if we have a lower number of speed, it's just going to slow down uh, the actual speed in which it's morphing the two frames. So if I put it down to like 15, you can see uh, it's uh, we have more frames to work with. It's not until uh, really the eighth frame that the image starts to fall apart. So I think we can set the speed to something like 35. And what that's done is now it's added one extra frame for us to work with because we only had two frames of images, but now you can see we have three because on the fourth it falls apart. We want to enable the motion blur as well. So with these three frames, I'm gonna cut off the rest of the shot. We don't need that. And now we can copy and paste it into our main composition. These two frames that we had before, we can delete those and take our new frames, our transitional frames, we'll say, to our shot where we had cut them out. We can take the bottom layer, move it one frame back. And then this layer right here, we're going to extend three frames forward underneath uh, our transitional layer. And that's because with this effect that we just did, we just added another frame of footage that did not exist before. And with that being done, we've also added a frame that has no audio. You can see here in the wave forms, we have, uh, we have audio in these two frames, no audio in that frame. So by extending this clip, we're gonna have some audio right there so you don't hear this little like split second of just total nothing because I'm telling you, TikTokers will hear that and they'll be like, that was the cut, there it was, you're a liar. They can get savage on there, I'm telling you, it's crazy. And for the last thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure our composition is the exact length of our video so when we export, uh, it is a perfect loop uh, from the beginning to the end. So if we go to the end of our clip right here, we can see it's seven seconds and 26 frames. Right mouse click, composition settings, we can set it to that seven seconds and 26 frames hit okay and now we have our loop go ahead and follow me because the way i see it you either do or you don't now the option is still up to you but let me just say this if you want to be a part of something go ahead and follow me because the way i see it you either do or it's you never ending there's no cuts if you do watch this and you do a tiktok video with this tag me in it or at least uh write me in the comment section. I would love to see it, that'd be awesome. And as always, this channel doesn't have a slogan to end on, so we'll just end with this. My hair is natural. <laughs>